the Ravel Fokker D7 coming up next on Monster Hobbies What's in the Box? Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box and we've got a real treat for you. This was one of the best designed German aircraft of World War II, the Fokker D7, and was quite quite a blowback on the Allied air attackers. When this baby hit the skies, a lot of other airplanes were shot down by it. So now, uh, let's go down and see what's in the box of this Revell Germany model in great old 172nd scale. Hello, aviation fans, and once again we're going to open up the lid on another 172nd scale World War I fighter. This time we are looking at Revell of Germany's Fokker D7 which was one of the most successful airplanes of World War I, especially on the German side. It was quite tough for the Allies to beat. So let's take all our parts out here, and let's move our stuff out of the way so we can look at this piece by piece. So to begin with, we have our instruction sheet. Just zoom back here. This one came out in 1993 by Ravel, and I believe it's still around. You can find it. This is out of my own collection, of course. So here, well, the instructions are very busy. Everything just seems to be shown, like, just going all right at once. But they do give you the flags. Those are for your paint colors. And there's the top one going on in the undercarriage. It's like they tried to fit the assembly just on one page. Okay, so here they have a couple of call-outs for different pilots. So, Fokker D7 Yasta 11, 1918, flown by Rudolf uh, Berthold. So that's his airplane. And then they show you the decal sheet. Now, with this one, though, the decal sheet is just a frame, and you actually have to paint all those colors into the decal sheet. It's not like the Fokker D7 from Rodin that I showed last week where it's actually got a decal painted like that. But here is the one from Hermann Goering and this plane is pure white so very easy to paint. And now let's actually look at the decals. So they give you this nice film over the top which protects them but here as you can see it's a big grid and you must paint all those little tiny squares in there or diamond shapes in order to have this thing look good. So that is that. <laughs> okay, now the parts. Oh, I need to take them out of this bag. And always remember to keep bags out of the reach of small children who could suffocate on them. Okay, so I will move these parts and we will look at them one by one. So let's just move our camera in. Okay, so here's our first parts tree. And we have the bottom wing, the wheels, these interesting little caps. Not quite sure what that's about. Um, and then our struts. This is a little wing where the wheels went underneath. There's our machine guns there. Okay, let's move this up. So you can, there is some nice detail on the machine guns. The rear uh, rudder has some nice fins on it. But here again, we have the sink marks. Now there's only four on there. So that's not too bad. The bottom wing seems to suffer from two, one of them with a lot of, bit of flesh on there. Okay, now we will look at the top wing. And as you can see, it's got some nice ribs on there. We do get a full pilot again. There's our a radiator. It's got a nice little uh, crosshatch grill inside there. This camera's having some trouble. There is the top of our cylinder head for our engine with the little pipe that sticks out. And underneath, there are a few mold marks, but 
Of course, we'll have to get rid of those with our hobby knife. And that takes us to the fuselage. Now, fuselage has some sticks, so you can put on a puppet show. Do, 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 do. No, anyway. <laughs> okay, so there's some nice louvers going on here. And a bit of detail, but pretty smooth along the sides. It has the Ravel Germany copyright stamp in there. Yeah, so quite a lot of nice detail and it brings us to our final bit which is our tail rudder with some very nice ribs in there and the mold marks are right underneath. You'll have to get rid of those because that will interfere with the fit to the body. And that basically brings us to the end of our review of Ravel Germany's Fokker D7. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobby's What's in the Box as we got to open the lid on this Fokker D7 from Ravel, Germany. Now, if you would like to see how you too can get your own model airplanes and how I am talking like William Shatner. <laughs> now anyway, check out our web store at www.monster-hobbies.ca and I'll leave a little link you can click on below so that you can go right to our model aircraft section. And if you would like to make a donation so we can continue to make these great aircraft videos or maybe so that I won't talk like William Shatner, then you can go onto our YouTube homepage and look for the little PayPal icon in our banner and click there. Also, you can find us on Twitter and and uh, Facebook by clicking it on the buttons in that banner as well. And if you would like to check out some other of our unboxing videos, check them out here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us here and click the notification bell so you can always catch our latest videos. And until next time, keep the sun at your back so your enemy won't see you when you're doing your dive. <laughs>